In this video, I'm going to give you a simple way to remember trigonometry values. But first, let's make a table with the values that you need to know. And so here we're going to put the sine values and then the cosine values followed by the tangent values. And here will be the angles, 0 degrees, 30, which is pi over 6, 45, that's pi over 4, 60 is pi over 3, and 90, which is pi over 2. So sine of 0 is 0. Sine 30 is 1 over 2, or you could say square root 1 over 2. Sine 45 is square root 2 over 2. Sine 60 is square root 3 over 2. And sine 90 is square root 4 over 2. Square root 4 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. But notice the pattern. So I'm going to replace this with a 1. And here I'm just going to take off the square root symbol. Now cosine is basically the reverse of sine. Cosine 0 is 1. And we're going to have the same values but going in the other direction. Cosine 30 is the square root of 3 over 2, cosine 45, root 2 over 2, cosine 60 is 1 half, and cosine 90 is 0. Now tangent is sine divided by cosine. So 0 divided by 1 is 0. Thus tangent of 0 degrees is 0. Now if we take 1 half and divide it by the square root of 3 over 2, the 2's will cancel. And so it becomes 1 divided by the square root of 3. And if you rationalize it, if you multiply 1 over square root 3 by root 3 over root 3, this will simplify to the square root of 3 over 3. Now, tan 45 is going to be sine over cosine. Because those two values are the same, it's going to be 1. Now, tangent 60, square root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, just like before, the 2's will cancel, and so it's the square root of 3 divided by 1, which will simplify to the square root of 3. And tan 90 is going to be 1 divided by 0. Whenever you divide a constant by 0, it's undefined. So I'm just going to mark that off. So tan 90 is undefined. Keep that in mind. Now, is there a way in which we can remember, basically, the values here. And it turns out that you could use a special reference triangle to get any one of those values for 30, 45, and 60. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now let's start with the 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Across the 30 degree angle, the length of the side is going to be a 1. Across the 90 degree angle, it's a 2. And across the 60 degree angle, it's the square root of 3. Now, you need to be familiar with something called Sokotoa. And let's say if we wish to evaluate sine of 30 degrees. So we need to use the so part in Sokotoa, which tells us that sine is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So O stands for opposite, H stands for hypotenuse, and A represents adjacent. So let's focus on the 30 degree angle. Opposite to the 30 degree angle is 1, and the hypotenuse is the longest side. It's across the right angle. So the hypotenuse is 2. Thus sine 30 is 1 over 2. Now let's say if we wish to evaluate cosine 30. So we need to use this portion of Sokotoa. So cosine 30 is equal to the adjacent side, which is the square root of 3, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 2. And so that's how we get this answer, root 3 over 2. Now let's say if we wish to evaluate 
tangent of 30. So we would use the Toa part of Sokotoa. So tangent of 30 is equal to the opposite side, which is 1, divided by the adjacent side, which is root 3. And of course, we need to rationalize it. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3, 3 times 3 is 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. So this becomes root 3 over 3. And so that's how we can evaluate tangent 30 using the, excuse me, the 30, 60, 90, the right triangle. Now, if we wish to evaluate tangent of 60, we would focus on this angle. Opposite to the 60 degree angle is the square root of 3. And adjacent to it is 1. So it's the square root of 3 divided by 1, which is simply square root 3. And let's do one more with this triangle. So let's say if we wish to evaluate sine of 60. So using the so part of Sokotoa, we know that sine 60 is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And so that becomes the square root of 3 over 2. And so that's a simple trick in which you can remember the trigonometry values. You could use that to evaluate the common trigonometry functions. Now, let's use the 45-45 right triangle. This is the other one that you need to know. Now, across the 45 degree angles, the side lengths will be the square root of 2. Actually, no. I take that back. It's going to be 1. They have to be the same, though. But across the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. So let's say if we wish to evaluate sine of 45 degrees. So we could use any one of the two 45 degree angles. So it's going to be the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse based on Sokotoa. So opposite to 45 is 1, and the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. Now, anytime you have a, a square root symbol in the bottom of a fraction, you need to rationalize it. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 2. So this becomes the square root of 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So therefore, sine 45 can be simplified to root 2 over 2. And the same is true for cosine 45. Now, if we wish to calculate tangent of 45, we would still use the same reference triangle. Based on the Toa part of Soka Toa, tangent is opposite divided by the adjacent side. So the tangent ratio for a 45 degree angle will be 1 over 1, which is simply 1. And so that's how you could use the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle to evaluate things like sine 45, tangent 45, or even cosine 45. Now let's try another example. Let's work on secant of 60 degrees. Feel free to try that problem. How can we evaluate secant of 60? Now, it's important to know that secant is the reciprocal function of cosine. So secant 60 is 1 over cosine 60. Now we know what cosine 60 degrees is. Using a table or using the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle, we know that cosine 60 is 1 half. So what's 1 divided by a half? Well, we can multiply the top and bottom by 2. 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 half times 2 is 1. The 2's will cancel. And so secant of 60 is 2. Now what about cosecant of 60? Try that one. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. And sine 60 is the square root of 3 over 2. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by 2. So the 2's will cancel. And what we have left over is 2 divided by the square root of 3. Now we need to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 3. And so 3 times 3 is 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. So cosecant of 60 is 2 square root 3 over 3.
Now let's try a problem with tangent. Let's evaluate tangent of, let's say, 60 degrees. I mean, not tangent. I take that back. Cotangent of 60 degrees. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So cotangent is 1 over tangent. And we know that tangent of 60 is the square root of 3. Hmm. So we need to rationalize this one. Let's multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 3. And so we get root 3 over root 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. So cotan of 60 is root 3 over 3. And that's basically it for this video. Now, for those of you who wish to subscribe to this channel, I recommend that you click on the notification bell. If, of course, you want to receive updates on any new videos that I may be posting in the future. And that's totally up to you. But if you do like this video, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.